Will Smith's Emancipation. This Montana White with Miami Mix Show. Hip hop, money, power, politics. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button because Will Smith has just dropped. Well, I should say Hollywood or the movie production company and studio who's distributing this piece of hot trash. Just drop the trailer for Will Smith's summer blockbuster or whenever it's coming out Christmas time. I'm sure they got some big release date for this garbage. The new movie Emancipation starring Will Smith. And guess what? He's a slave. Yes, his punishment, his reintroduction into Hollywood after the infamous Chris Rock smack. The slap heard around the world. His introduction back into mainstream media is a slave movie called Emancipation. Yes, yes, Hollywood, just what we needed. Another slave movie reminding us that even after we were supposedly emancipated, which didn't mean anything because it didn't happen until the 13th Amendment. So Lincoln didn't free the slaves and yet and still we want to perpetuate, perpetuate this garbage. And they're using Will Smith. They dressed him up all dirty and bummy. His hair nappy. He got his family with him. He know massa freed the slaves to the north. Just follow, just follow, you hear the train, just follow the Underground Railroad, and you'll get to freedom. Now, I think I saw, I think I caught a glimpse, I caught a glimpse of him reenacting that infamous picture of that slave with a thousand whip marks on his back. I think that's what I saw, and they trying to kind of relate. I'm thinking, this is my mind. They're trying to re- relate that man's story to this movie. Now, I could be wrong, but I am right about this. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck Will Smith, too. Fuck Will Smith for agreeing to make his reintroduction back into mainstream media as an emancipated slave or a slave searching for emancipation. Now, let's just say this. After... The Emancipation Proclamation and after the 13th Amendment, slaves still did not know they were free. This is why we celebrate Juneteenth, because slaves in Texas didn't know they were free until some kind of sailor sailed around the country and went and told them that they were free. And this happened and this is the reason we celebrate Juneteenth, because some crackers didn't. They didn't, they just, oh my God, they didn't even want to tell us that slavery was over. But yet, in 2022, when we can have movies about Mansa Musa, when we can have movies about lost information about the Moors who ruled England, who ruled America, who, who were the teachers that brought about the Renaissance era, and brought them out of the dark ages, man. Well, we could really have movies that inspire black people. Will Smith, you shit eat dog, you Hollywood mutt. You motherfucking Hollywood slut. You dare make a motherfucking slave movie in 2022. This is how they make you crawl back to Hollywood Boulevard on your hands and knees. Emancipation? Fuck Will Smith and fuck Hollywood too for this for this blatant disrespect to our sensibilities. We have been traumatized enough. And for you, with everybody focusing on this man, what is he going to do when he come back into the game? Where's Will Smith? For you motherfuckers to use this motherfucker to remind us of slavery and the history and the fact that Stacey Abrams is running on a campaign to vote. So we can still be able to vote. 
This Montana White. I'm sorry I'm sitting in the car. This nigga Will Smith got me vexed. I'm out.